for tonight's prize and a beautiful beach house somewhere on the coast. That's a joke, but maybe someday, you never know. Before we get into this game, are you familiar with super spins? Some of you may have one already. If you've updated the app and you've referred a friend, any friend, even if they have HQ, you've got a clean slate, you've probably received a super wheel. So you don't have to use it now, but you could. You could use it tonight or you could use it another night. I don't know if you're saving it up for something else, but it's pretty snazzy, right? Oh yeah, look at that super wheel. Okay, here we go though. Now's the time to spin the wheel around my face. Are you spinning me in a super wheel or are you playing it safe tonight, huh? We do have 15 puzzles, so a super spin could be helpful, but I don't know, we have some pretty cool themes coming up, so the choice is yours. It's all about strategy. Are you ready to kick this thing off? We got 15 to go through. Here we go, it's time for the first puzzle. The faster you solve, the more points you'll get. So let's get ready to rumble. Letters, I'm talking about letters. Your first hint is refreshing drink. Type in the letters E, C, and T. This sounds delish right now with a little lemon, right, some sugar, or no sugar if that's your thing. I just picture myself drinking this poolside. And I gotta say, I do love a peach flavored one of these. Yeah. I'm talking about iced tea. Classic refreshing drink, iced tea, 199,135. We're still sipping that iced tea, baby. 6,318 eliminated off the bat. I gave you some letters. You might've had your volume down or something. Have you heard the word yet? This Thursday night, we're doing back-to-back -back Star Wars night on HQ. We've got trivia at nine and then Star Words at 9.30. Okay, get your Jedi on and you better join me here. It's gonna be so much fun. So there's the old saying, slow and steady wins the race, but sometimes you just don't come in first. That's okay, I'm still so proud of you, even if you're in second place. This is something you win for second place. You still get recognized. It's still a great accomplishment. And if you watch the Olympics, you know this is still very special, right? Because it's second place. second place. You win a silver medal. Any Nancy Kerrigan fans? She won a silver medal, not the gold, a silver. 178,502. Got it. They're going for the gold tonight. 21,408 eliminated. They, you get bronze, I guess, at this point. Okay, this next one might actually take home the gold. That is if you agree with me that it's the best day of the week. I've already mentioned it in this game, which was clearly a giveaway. It's a good one because usually it's a day of rest. But if you're not resting, you can make it so entertaining. Yeah. If you had one today, I'm talking about Sunday fun day. Yeah, it is Sunday fun day, right? You're gonna go out dancing, you're gonna go to brunch, you're gonna hang out with friends. 179,536 are making this a Sunday fun day. We lost 1,600, but that's okay. It's, it's Sunday night now, so the fun day is over. Okay, but it's really not a Sunday fun day unless we get a little nostalgic. We're throwing it back for a moment because I wanna know this 80s tagline. This was from a commercial, actually, for a fast food company. One that sells burgers and other things. And by I asked you that they were really up here. 80s tagline. Very and the answer is, where's the beef? But here you go. You can pay yourself. It is manager. Where's the beef? Grandma wants that beef. Where's the beef? She opened the bun and it was just a tiny little burger. It was so much bread. She wants to know where's the beef. That was from a Wendy's commercial. 165,136 got it right. 14,480 are still looking for that beef. That's all right, you can keep looking. This next person is great at handling beef, okay? Probably because they're a superhero. Type in this Marvel actor. 
This person was in a very recent Marvel movie. But this actor is still newer to the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Although they've had a great career. They've won awards for other roles. They've played that one. And the answer is Brie Larson. Here she is, she's Captain Marvel. Yeah, she is. Look at how strong, how powerful, how female she is as Captain Marvel. I haven't seen it yet, but I want to. I hear it's great. 136,724 are still in the game. 30,000 eliminated on Brie Larson, Captain Marvel. Speaking of very strong people, sometimes athletes are kind of like superheroes. So what is this sports taunt? This is actually a famous quote from a very well-known athlete. He said it right before an important match. And it resonated with so many people that we've heard it in a lot of areas of life. In music, TV. And the answer is float like a butterfly. Do you know the rest of it? Float like a butterfly. Sting like a bee. Thank you, Muhammad Ali, who gave us that quote. 84,861 are still hot. 55,891. I feel like you just got schooled on float like a butterfly. You're flying out on that school bus right now, but that's all right. We will meet again. As a comedian, I fully support this next one. In fact, I wish I did this myself. I don't want to give it all away, but your hint is social media prank. This one is so funny because it can prank, prank a whole bunch of people at once, right? Unlike a, a prank phone call where just one person gets pranked. This one, you're going to And it's also all about matching a voice. I'm talking about a parody Twitter account. Love a good parody Twitter account. 58,449 are still in the game. 35,000 eliminated on parody Twitter account. And if you know an amazing parody Twitter account, you gotta let me know in the chat, okay? Cause I wanna follow it. Maybe some other people wanna follow it. Maybe you don't know of a parody Twitter account or have one, but do you ever prank your coworkers? This isn't even a prank, but it sure is an office annoyance. First and foremost, it's definitely not a great place for a selfie. These are also distracting in an annoying kind of way. Office annoyance, it kind of makes you feel like you're not in an office, you might be at a hospital. And the answer is fluorescent light bulbs. Come on, fluorescent light bulbs, they don't make anyone look beautiful, right? Especially on Instagram. 50,693 agree, 13,431 eliminated. I have a tip. I think that all offices should have like a Himalayan salt lamp, maybe some full candles. Imagine how zen that would be for everyone who works in that office. That'd be great. There are two types of coffee drinkers in this world. Those who drink it for the caffeine and the effects, and those who have adopted it as a hobby. What is this coffee snob concern? <laughs> this one goes out to all the local cold brew fans, okay? All the coffee snobs. The people who want to know how their coffee was made. Right, maybe they're very concerned with where it's from. I feel like all coffee snobs, they're proud. They wanna know the country of origin of the bean. That makes sense if you're a real coffee connoisseur. 49,924 still in the game, 3,500 eliminated. And tell me, is it a Guatemalan bean or maybe you have a Colombian blend? I'm not a coffee snob, but I sound like one right now. Hey nerds, obviously you love books, but did you always love them or was this something you grew into? Cause I wanna know, what is this kids series? This was a popular series that came out in the mid 2000s. It's been made into a movie. And if there's one really dramatic time in our lives, I feel like it's definitely middle school. And this series depicts that time period. The 
answer is Diary of a Wimpy Kid. Remember that series, Diary of a Wimpy Kid, about Greg, who's trying to become popular? 45,052 solved the puzzle. 5,700 eliminated on Diary of a Wimpy Kid. This week, I have to say, has been exciting for basketball fans, right? And hopefully you picked the right teams, but if not, you might be experiencing some March sadness. Okay, not March madness, you heard me right, March sadness. This happens when an underdog really makes a dent in the competition, right? You didn't see it coming, and then it happened, and that's why it's such an upset. Don't cry because it's March sadness. The answer is Bracket Busters. That's when a team you never thought would win wins and beats out one of the teams you thought was really going to take home the cake. 43,978 are still in it. They're still in the bracket. 2,690 we lost on that last puzzle. Okay, I know how to turn. I know how to turn your sadness into happiness. Hey, we're going on a trip. I think in Vegas, but it was booked. So how about this Vegas alternative? You know there's an alternative. They've got a lot of similar activities like gambling and shows and such a fun nightlife. And it's easy for me. It's a lot closer to New York City than Vegas is. There is one letdown. I don't think that Britney Spears has a residency here. See. I'm talking about Atlantic City, land of gambling, Atlantic City, 42,907 are joining me tonight in Atlantic City, 1,800, we say goodbye, maybe you're going to Vegas, I don't know, but we're going to Atlantic City, okay, it's Sunday, anybody go to brunch today, right, I mean, that means you get to eat as many pancakes as you want, right, that's what Sunday brunch is, but if you're trying to eat better, you could have this healthy breakfast option. I enjoy this. I also like pancakes, but I do enjoy this. And I know that if I eat this, I definitely feel healthier afterward. Right? Maybe with raisins or blueberries. <clears throat> Toasted with a little butter. Butter alternative. I'm talking about a vegan... Brand muffin. Don't knock until you try vegan brand muffin. 40,553 got it right. 2,700 eliminated on vegan brand muffin. I had this vegan banana chocolate chip muffin the other day. It changed my world. Honestly, I might be vegan now. I don't know. I did eat meat today. As a society, <clears throat> we get very obsessed with knowing who is dating who, which is why I want to know this celebrity couple. This is a couple that's been around for a very, very long time. Okay, and they may not be actual humans, but everyone knows about their relationship. That's a pretty crucial hint. Also, tell me, do you like video games? You know the celebrity couple. I'm talking about Mario and Princess Peach, of course. Love Mario and Princess Peach. And if you're watching from somewhere else that's not the East Coast and you say Mario, I don't know. It's always a debate. Mario versus Mario. 31,842 got it right, no matter how I pronounce it. I always said Mario, but I know a lot of people who say Mario. And in the chat, you could say whichever one you want, but it's still going to look like Mario. At least the paparazzi won't ever bother Mario and Princess Peach because they live in a screen. But the next up, you figure it to the final puzzle. Yeah, you did. Give yourself a round of applause. We're on puzzle 50 tonight. That's five more than usual. We started tonight with over 200,000 eager spellers and now only the elite survive. Are you going to brag about that win on Twitter? Kind of like this final hint, which is a pop star's brag. Stars, they're just like us, especially when they brag about this. But are they really just like us? Because they do have you know, some other special things that us normal people might not have. But at the beginning of the day, we're all pretty much the same. I'm talking about, I woke up like this. Yeah, you did. Who woke up like this? Beyonce gave us that. I woke up like this. And you know who's waking up 
like this tomorrow, 22,311 winners. You're waking up a winner tomorrow. You just won HQ Words. Congratulations. Okay. That's a nice group tonight who's going home with a little cash. A little cash in your pocket. For a Sunday night, you're going home with four cents, baby. Ooh, four cents. I could think of so many things I would buy right now with four cents. Gotta give a little shout out to Wreck-It Randy. Mr. Sopko, I heard Jason turned 40 tonight. Happy birthday to Jason. Everyone's going home with equal money tonight, and that is the game for tonight. I want to congratulate all of the winners, all 22,000 of you, and our latest word nerds who joined in for Sunday Fun Day. I wish we had time to go to the movies and actually see Brie Larson in Captain Marvel, but it's so late right now. I'd need a lot of coffee, depending on its origin. You know, how about that? How about that for my coffee snob life that I'm beginning now? I'm Anna Roisman, and I swear this is not a parody account, though sometimes debatable, very debatable. Follow me here on social media. I will see you tomorrow night and every night at 9.30 p.m. Eastern. Remember, you can invite your friends to get those super wheel spins. Go have an amazing Sunday night, and I will see you so soon. I love you, word nerds. Goodbye.